there's a lot to love about iOS 7, but there's also plenty to get annoyed about. Even once you get used to Apple's new operating system, its little quirks will make you miss iOS 6 faster than you can say Control Center. You can't make it perfect, but here are solutions to some of iOS 7's most annoying flaws. For starters, you might want to get rid of Parallax. Somewhere along the way, Apple's design team decided it would be fun to give us all a minor case of motion sickness by having the background and icons move as you tilt your phone. To get back in balance, head over to Settings, then General, Accessibility, and enable this Reduce Motion Control. Now everything will stay in its place. That's not the only poor design choice Apple made, though. The entire interface is blanketed with white backgrounds and small, hard-to-read font. And in typical Apple fashion, we don't have alternative themes to choose from. But there is a workaround. First, you can increase the system-wide font size in general settings under text size. Then, in the accessibility settings, you can also enable bold text to really make it stand out. Now, you can't really fix the issue of the bright white backgrounds, but if you're browsing your phone at night and you need to tone it down a bit, enable invert colors in that same settings window. It does make photos and other graphics look a little crazy, but the text will be much easier to read. You probably noticed that your notification center is a lot more crowded in iOS 7. It can't go back to the way it was, but you can cut back on the clutter. Just head to settings, notification center, and uncheck Today View, Today Summary, and Tomorrow Summary. You can also turn off the Calendar Day View if it's taking too much space. Now, when you swipe down from the top, you'll see only the things that matter most to you. Control Center is awesome because it finally lets us get to common settings without opening the Settings app. It's convenient, but also much too easy to accidentally open when you're playing games or even scrolling. To minimize that, head to Settings, then Control Center, and disable Access Within Apps. With Control Center fixed and all the other settings adjusted, iOS 7's quirks should be less of an issue. If you have any questions or tips of your own, hit me up on Twitter and check out howto.cnet.com for more iOS 7 tips. For CNET, I'm Sharon Vaknin.